Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today is a very very quick tutorial just to know how to export properly for Instagram. A lot of you ask for this type of tutorial so I hope it will be helpful and if you have any other request about tutorial let me know. Also for those who follow me on Instagram I've heard you so I've ordered a camera and it's on the way so the next tutorial I should be able to use it. Now let's jump into the tutorial. So here I'm using a previous design. When you have your design, you want to know what the size of it is. You can go to image and image size and you will have this uh, box opening. Here you can adjust it's uh, the preview of your design and you can obviously select the width and the height that you want. I usually like to stay in pixel and here you can also see the size of your design. So 49 uh, megabytes is huge for an image. So basically you would save it like this. Um, you can save it as a TIFF to keep the layers or as a PNG if you want it to have an empty background or as a JPEG, just the most standard image uh, format. If we do that, if we save it as a JPEG, JPEG, <laughs> Um, you can adjust the quality here, but you don't have much control over it. We're gonna save it and just check the size of the image. You can do that by pressing Command I or uh, click left and just go to get info, which I really struggled uh, to find apparently. <laughs> Okay, so 40 megabytes is still like way too large, um, especially for Instagram. So we're going to go to export and save for web. This is exactly what you need. So here you have different categories. You can just check the original, optimized and you can have a split view with two different uh, quality and even uh, four different quality at the same time so you can compare it's important uh, to be able to shrink the quality because this size is way too huge so here i'm um, downsizing the size of the image so i think 40 percent is more decent i mean this is already a really huge size for instagram and if the size of the file is too big it should be below one megabytes you can lower the quality as well so i'm gonna go for this uh 635 34 kilobytes and now we're gonna be able to compare So as you can see, it's much, much lower and we're going to compare them in terms of quality. So on the left, you can see the low quality, which is a tiny bit more saturated than the high quality because it has so much noise in it. And on Photoshop, you see this very saturated image uh, just because there is so many noise going on and it's uh, compressing a bit the preview. So that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know in the comment what you thought. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. And if you want to continue exploring some tutorials, you can click on those thumbnails. Bye, guys.